Hi, y'all. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Baroque art period. It uh, ran from 1590 to 1725. This is the art period following the Renaissance. Um, there's some similarities as far as the Baroque art period to the Renaissance as far as um, exploring shading and a realistic perspective on the world and uh, accurate um, expression of the human body. The uh, statement that I use for the Baroque art period is uh, eccentric redundancy and noisy abundance of details, which sharply contrasts the clear and sober rationality of the Renaissance. Love this statement. I, I uh, can't remember if I put that together or, <clears throat> or found that somewhere, but let me read that again to you. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's eccentric redundancy and noisy abundance of details, which sharply contrasted the clear and sober rationality of the Renaissance. So what does this look like? Uh, an excellent example of what that looked like is on page 294 in your textbook. This uh, painting by Rubens is absolutely uh, a noisy abundance of details. And uh, if you look at it, it's Jesus being hung on the cross, and there's a lot going on here. So another artist might have, at another time, might have simply um, stated just Jesus on the cross, holding one person holding up, but there's a lot going on here. I always even joke about to the point of someone, uh, Rubens captures a dog in the scene. So that would be the eccentric aspect of this. So they're very noisy, very busy, um, a lot going on. But but one of the biggest things, and the thing that I distinguish uh, the Broke Art period is the dramatic lighting. And if you remember anything from the Broke Art period, remember dramatic lighting. So the Renaissance started out exploring shading and perspective and trying to accurately reflect the world. And the artists during the Baroque Art period take this to the next level. And uh, what that looks like is, if you look on page 292, Caravaggio is an artist during this time period that really reflects what was going on during the Baroque art period. Um, matter of fact, so much so that Caravaggio was criticized for his art, and here's the reason why. If you look at this um, painting, um, it's the conversion of St. Paul. Once again, it's on page 292 in your textbook. Um, the background is totally blacked out and and what's highlighted is what the artist wants you to see so in essence the artist is starting to give you a narrative they're starting to tell you what to see so they're they're reflecting the world accurately but they're starting to have uh an opinion and ideas on what you should see and how you should see it and that's where the dramatic lighting comes in so the artist highlights what's important or what they think is important what they want to emphasize and for you to focus on and, and then they leave the minor details out so um, matter of fact there's a couple on here uh, that uh, on those two pages but uh, Caravaggio uh, is a master of this um, and and the reason they were criticized is because artists before this are like, who are you to tell the viewer what to see? You know, that's you should just portray the world as it is and let them decide what they want to focus on. And it's very similar to what's going on now and actually for the past 40, 50 years, actually, with news. How uh, at one time, uh, broadcasters and, and news reporters, the idea was just to give you the news as it was no opinions, no any kind of commentary whatsoever. And today, we want comedians telling us the news. We want to hear what the newscasters' opinions are and what their take is on what they're reporting to us. And we want to trust those people that we like what they have to say, so we want to hear their opinion. This is an extreme, extreme difference, way, different way of portraying the world and news specifically. And that's exactly what was going on during the Baroque art period. Um, but on page 293, you have uh, Judith and um, and the maid servant with the head of Halifernus. There's a number of um, representations. As a matter of fact, I was disappointed that in the book there's not the beheading of Halifernus. That's one that I always like to show. Uh, but that uh, characterizes another uh, thing that's uh, common in the Baroque art period is that the artists were uh, expressing common stories that people knew and it's just so happened at that time the most common stories that everyone knew was out of the bible 
So a lot of the reflections and the art that's reflected uh, or expressed is stories from the Bible. So that's a common uh, characteristic during the Baroque art period. Um, well, Lazarus, uh, Rembrandt, uh, Vermeer. Matter of fact, uh, the Vermeer that they have on 296, I'm surprised they don't have the girl with the pearl earring. That's actually a nice example of uh, dramatic lighting. But this Vermeer, the uh, kitchen maid, which he did a series of the of, of uh, women in the kitchen, uh, but is what he was doing is working on trying to accurately display lighting. And so you got the natural lighting coming in and uh, and hot, and make, creating this beautiful painting. Um, other characteristics, central richness, and that's where Vermeer was uh, really working with oil painting and creating this very rich uh, expression with the oils um, and the popular stories. So I think you've got Caravaggi, Bernini uh, is a sculptor during the time. Um, Rubens, Vermeer, Rembrandt, Velasquez. So that's the Baroque art period. Um, and I'll, I'll uh, lecture on one more art period, and then you'll have the quiz that covers the, uh, the three different art periods, which will be uh, Renaissance, Baroque, and Rococo. So until next time, see you soon.